All right, Taurus is sorry. I had to do two videos. I don't know how to. I gotta figure that out. I don't know how to, how to add on to the same video. Somebody called him doing it on my cell phone, so I cut the video off. Uh, but yeah, some of you guys are emotionally drinking right now um, because of this betrayal that's happening. Uh, so watch that. But at home in general, it's saying that you're feeling quite good. Your children might be making you feel quite good if you have children. Uh, there's a sense here of not being naive at home. This is this card here. I know it's the Seven of Swords and it looks bad, but this is what's helping you. And what's helping you is the Seven of Swords. So if you had a betrayal at home in the past, I'm feeling at past, that betrayal is going to actually move you towards this magician creating new new things. So that betrayal is actually quite positive. A lot of people think that, you know, negative is, it's, it's negative, it's what it is, it's bad. But, uh, you know, alchemy comes out of that. You create positivity out of that, right? Uh, you become wiser and smarter from somebody who's cheated on you, you know what to look for, and you can see the warning signs coming from a mile away. But whatever this betrayal was, uh, it's going to benefit you. I also see... Uh, you might have a, a younger water sign, so if you're older and this is your child, maybe in their 20s, you could even be in their 30s, there's some... If you have a young child, even, too, there's some, they're doing something at home. This is going to help you, though. So, this is what I'm going to say. You might get emotionally overwhelmed with the child at home. And there's a sense here that this child might do something that you're not, you're not going to be keen on. And the advice here is what it's saying is that when this happens, uh, not to get mad, not to get emotionally because there is emotional manipulation here don't emotionally manipulate your child uh, some parents do that I mean, my mother is the queen of that she's an Aries by the way the queen of that uh, but there's a sense of okay conditioning starts happening to us and then we pass that down to our children and we want to break those patterns right because it's not healthy we want we want to be able to have a free mind, an open mind. So when this situation occurs at home, because it is going to occur, you're going to have to come from an emotional standpoint and sit them down and really uh, let them emotionally express themselves. So if they're upset, let them get upset. Don't stop them. Don't get angry. Just let them get it out. If they're going to emotionally cry, let them cry. Don't get mad. Don't say, suck it up. Stop crying. Don't do that. When they're in the midst of whatever is happening with them, you need to sit down and say, okay, why are you upset? What are you feeling? Why is that making you mad? Ex get get them to explain it to you. If they're sad, why are you sad? Why is that emotion? Why did that situation make you feel that way? You need to help them understand their emotions. You have a younger partner for some of you females, and even you males, you have a younger partner. They don't necessarily understand their emotions in the state that you do. So you're gonna have to teach them this. This is what it's saying. This is this is. The teacher-student relationship is happening right now. So with your children, you're going to have to teach them a healthy, uh, even your partner, for those of you that are married, or even your parents, you're going to have to emotionally try to teach them these things. A great um, website, or not website, um, YouTube channel to look up, and there's some, I'll try to post those for you guys, the ones that I think that are going to be most informative for you guys. They're quick little Timbit 10-minute videos, and uh, they're quite informative, but I would look them up for your children. There's some there that talk about conditioning psychology. They're in the psychology s section. They're um, uh, historical figures that studied those subject subjects. But they they have um, great information in them, like great information in them about helping um, people break break patterns, you know, from childhood conditioning. And when you see the videos, you might be quite surprised of what you find out. I think. I, I really do um, encourage you guys to watch those. <sighs> There's a Taurus male here that's being either emotionally manipulative towards a water sign, or this water sign is mo emotionally manipulating you, or you've betrayed a water sign. You're being sneaky. Let's see what the advice is. The chariot, yeah, there's a decision to make for those of you dealing with a water sign. There's a de decision for you to make. Um, those of you watching for a Taurus that you know, okay, don't don't go putting ideas in your head. Uh, if you're watching for a Taurus, 
and, and you know that they're cheating, uh, you know they're cheating, so they're emotionally using you, okay? So if you're watching this for a Taurus that you're just dating and you're seeing, don't be go putting the idea in your head that this person's emotionally manipulative or they're cheating. That's not true, all right? That That's you making a self-fulfilling pro prophecy there, okay? So you, you, you need to take what applies to you. If you know, then you know, okay? So if you know that this man has another woman, he's emotionally using you. Even for you men, if you know this woman has another man, she is emotionally using you. So you need you need to remove yourself from that situation. You need to make the choice. The advice here of what not to do is be blind. You can't turn out like you see this. One person's facing that way. This person's facing the other way. You can no longer be blind to this. You, you, there's a sense of good and bad here. We all have the yin and yang energies in us, and you need to center these. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting. You guys, like, I do see you guys taking care of your health is really important for you guys this month. Um, I see that coming strongly through. Uh, the energies that I'm really strongly feeling is that you guys need, are, need to switch your energies and put it into areas that are actually going to benefit you. So if you're having relationship issues, then you need to apply yourself more to work, okay? But also there's a sense here that your relationship issues are affecting your home and they're affecting your work. You need to be careful of that. So the school of life, I'd really check that out. I think there's um, some messages that you guys are going to get in there that will be highly beneficial for you guys. Sources. You guys are doing a great job. Be very careful of what you're thinking. Think positive thoughts. Positive thoughts is going to bring in this positive energy and is going to create this positive change. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a really good month. I'll try to be back with some maybe mid-months or weeklies. Uh, I'm just getting this channel, channel started, so um, I'm trying to be consistent just with the monthlies first. And Hopefully this information helps you guys out. I wish you guys the best. Sorry about the two-part video. <laughs> Ciao.